Hockey Night in Canada. Brought to you by Molson. You've got the time, we've got the beer. And by Ford. And your ESSO stations across Canada. Tonight, from 1967, October, what is it today? October, uh, you have known this, October 28, 1967, we have the Chicago Blackhawks and your Minnesota North Stars from the Met Center in Bloomington, Minnesota. The struggling Blackhawks are one, five, and one. While the Minnesota North Stars are much better than real life, they are four wins, one loss, and one tie in their first ever season in the National Hockey League. Thank you for tuning in. This is King Icky Boo coming to you from the Met Center in Bloomington, Minnesota, where today's game between the Blackhawks and the North Stars. First ever matchup between these two rivals. They grew to hate each other, but they're just feeling each other out now. And I don't mean that in any disgusting way. They are just seeing what each one of them are made of. So let's see the starting lineup for the Blackhawks. At center, Stan Makita. Born in Czechoslovakia, but he's Canadian through and through. On his left wing, this line was together for 10 years. Stan Makita. On the left wing, Bobby Hall, the Golden Jet. And on his right wing, Kenny Warham, the right winger. On defense, Pierre Palat. And on the other side, Pat Stapleton. In goal today for the Blackhawks, Dennis DeJordi. And so far, his record... Come on, you can come up. He is... If the team is struggling and he's a starting goaltender, then he's probably struggling too. But it's not his fault. He has a 1, 2, and 1 record, but his goals against average is 2.25 and a 920-something save percentage. So it's not DeJordy's fault. And for the Minnesota North Stars in their inaugural season, here's their starting lineup at center, Ray Cullen. Ray Cullen so far has three goals, one assist for four points in six games. On his left wing, Dave Ballin. He has two goals, two assists, and four points in six games. And on his right wing, Wayne Connolly has five goals and one assist for six points in six games. On defense, Bob McCord on the right side and Mike McMahon on the left side. The starting goaltender for the Minnesota North Stars is Cesar Maniego. And he is 2-1 with a 2.01 goals against average. So let's get this game underway. Here's the face-off. Face-off goes to Stan Makita. Makita passes over to Kenny Warham. McMahon goes for the hit but misses. And Warham has an excellent shot. He takes the shot. And it's blocked by Bob McCord. Bobby Hall grabs the rebound. No, it's McCord that steals it away. And he goes up the ice. There's no penalty. McCord passes it. He passes it over to himself, and Makita forces it off his stick, and it goes into the corner, and Palat, he goes for it, but Ballin, he takes a control, and Ballin passes over to Wayne Connolly. Connolly takes a shot, and it's blocked by Palat, and Bobby Hall gets the puck. Hall and he gets hit by Mike McMahon and sent flying. You don't see that every day. Dave Ballin gets the loose puck for Minnesota, and we have a line change the first of the game. The second line comes on, Boudrias, Ted Taylor, and Bill Goldsworthy for the North Stars. Pitt Martin, Dennis Hall, and Eric Nestorenko for the Hawks. Goldsworthy gets the puck. He moves in, and he takes a shot from the circles, and it's blocked by Marat. Goes to Boudrias. He gobbles up the loose puck, and there's a delayed penalty. To Doug Jarrett. But Boudreaux has an excellent shot. He takes it. And it's a save by 
to Jordy and he hangs on. Now let's see what the penalty is. The penalty is 31, but he has a 37 plus highest opposition. So the referee changes his mind. You don't see that every day. A referee changing his mind. Those guys are stubborn as heck. But in this case, he says, no, no, it wasn't enough to put the guys in the box. So we have the face off on the left side of the Jordy. Here it is. The face off goes to the North Stars. He passes it back to Watoyowicz. Watoyowicz over to Budrias. He's an excellent passer. He passes the sh over to Ted Taylor, takes a shot from outside the circles. And it's saved by DeJordi, and he hangs on once again. He's taking no chances so far. Here's the face-off again for the second line. Face-off is won again by Minnesota to Bill Goldsworthy. Goldsworthy passes over to Taylor. Taylor takes another long-distance shot, and it's held by DeJordi. DeJordi's been solid so far here today. Three saves. Maniego has not had to face any rubber so far. Here's the face-off, and it goes once again to the North Stars. Taylor, and we have another delayed penalty. In fact, the, b the referee blows his whistle immediately, and there's a penalty on Dennis Hall. Dennis Hall for interference, and let's see the time of this. We bring up the penalty summary. It's at 3.33 of the first period. Dennis Hall for interference. At 3.33. We'll put up the scoring summary over here. And the penalty summary over here. So we got the power play for the North Stars. The second group goes on the ice to start the power play. Budrias, Goldsworthy, and Bill Collins moves in on the left wing. Bobby Hall and Pitt Martin kill the penalty for the Hawks. Here's the face-off. And it is won by Pitt Martin over to Hall. He drags and rags the puck. And he moves in. He's going to get an excellent shot on goal. And it is not blocked. And it is on goal. And nice save by Maniego. And he holds on. Those shorthanded opportunities are tricky. As they're unexpected. But Bobby Hall is always dangerous. As his brother sits in the sin bin. Here's the face off. This time it's won by the North Stars over to Moose Vasco, who used to play for the Blackhawks years before. In fact, I think his picture, he's wearing his Blackhawks jersey. So we're going to the number one power play unit and the number one penalty kill unit, Cullen, Ballin, and Wayne Connolly, Eric Nestorenko, and Stan Mikita for the Hawks. We have it going for the interception, but they do not make it, so... Dave Ballin controls the pass. He sends it over to Connolly. And this time it is intercepted by Stan Makita. And instead of dumping it in, he ices the puck. Doug Jarrett gets it all the way down the ice. Now in the penalty kill situation, you divide the penalty in half. So there is no... To reflect that, uh, at least in the old days... Referees were reluctant to call the second penalty. So you divide it in half. So there is no penalty chance here now on Jill Marat. However, there's an excellent shot by Mike McMahon, a very offensive defenseman. He takes the shot. He scores! Mike McMahon scores for the North Stars. And they take the lead on the power play. Dennis Hall returns to the ice. And he gets a chew out by Billy Ray on the bench. So let's see, Ray Collin gets the assist, and Bob Atoyovich gets the other assist. So the scoring play, Mike McMahon, his first goal of the season on the power play from Ray Collin and Bob Atoyovich at 5-10 of the first period on the power play. So we have uh, 20 minutes, 18, 16. The third line gets on the ice. The third line is the late Bill Masterton. Later this season, he will die on the ice. The only man in hockey history, in the NHL history, to die on the ice. And right now, he's still with us, so we will celebrate that. Murray Hall on his right side, and Bill Collins, who was just on the power play, is on his left. 
For the Blackhawks, Jerry Goyer is center with Doug Moans and Wayne Mackey. We do not see the Mackey brothers as Chico is not playing tonight. So here is the face-off. The Blackhawks find themselves in a familiar deficit here in 1967-68 season. They should be one of the best teams, but they are off to a terrible start. And the face-off goes to Masterton. Masterton. He passes it over to Murray Hall. Murray Hall. There's no hit, so he will pass it. Good puck control for the North Stars, even though this is the third line. And now we get to a place where we will change lines and go back to the first line. There's no interception. It's 31. That is Dave Ballon. He makes the pass to him, back to himself, and he makes a nice saucer pass over to Ray Cullen. Ray Cullen takes the shot. It's not blocked, and it is held by DeJordi for the save. He is the much busier goaltender here tonight. And he's already let one past him, although it was on the power play. Here's the face-off. And this one is won by the Blackhawks. Hasn't happened much here today. There's no penalty. Here's a nice pass by Palat. It goes over to Bobby Hall. Bobby Hall takes a shot right between the circles, and he scores! Bobby Hall evens the score. His seventh goal of the season already. You can't blame Bobby Hall for the Blackhawks' Shaky start to the season as he has his seventh goal already. And Pierre Palat, because he made the assist, automatically gets the assist. And we hit the assist button once because it says right defense, who is Palat. He already has the assist. So we, by King Ikibu, King Ikibu rules, we hit this one time. And it's him again, so it is the only one assist to Pierre Palat, who set up Hall for the score on a patented slap shot one-timer, and the game is tied at one. So it's Bobby Hall, his seventh of the season, from Pierre Palat at 649 of the first period. And there are a lot of Blackhawk fans here tonight, and this is what happens when you have expansion team, and probably many of the people... In Minnesota, they never had their own NHL team before, so here there's a lot of Blackhawk fans that, of course, will change over time and they will hate the Blackhawks. But up to now, people who loved NHL hockey in Minnesota probably cheered for the Blackhawks, and so we hear some cheering for Bobby Hall's goal here at the Mets Center. Here's the face-off. The face-off is back to Bobby Hall once again. Bobby Hall is rocked with a base hit, with a base hit, with a Bone-crushing check by Connolly. And McCord picks up the loose puck. McCord. He passes it. Nice pass over to Cullen. He takes the shot. It's blocked by Stapleton. Stapleton, but Wayne Connolly gobbles up the loose puck. And it's taken away by Palat. And we have our line change. The second line goes on the ice. Here comes Doug Garrett. Garrett. He passes over to his partner, Gilles Marat. But he coughs up the puck. And there's no breakaway for Ted Taylor, but T Ted Taylor has it in the Blackhawk zone. And it is over to Andre Boudrias, who will play with the Vancouver Canucks. But right now, the Vancouver Canucks are only a glimmer in the Vancouver people's eye at this point. And he coughs up the puck, however, and Dennis Hall gets it. Dennis Hall goes over the Minnesota line. Not taken away. He gives the pass over to Pitt Martin, who gobbles up the puck. What's... The puck, everybody's got butterfingers on their sticks. Here is Ted Taylor. Ted Taylor passes it. And it is intercepted by Pitt Martin. A very sloppy shift for both teams. Martin passes over to Marat. Marat. And there's a... F With the way these guys are playing, thankfully there's a line change. And they need to go and reflect on the bench. Here's Masterton. He gets the puck. Masterton crosses the Blackhawk blue line. He avoids the check and passes over to McMahon. McMahon, he passes it over to Murray Hall. And there's a possible penalty. It is. The whistle blows and we will see if Wayne Mackey gets the penalty. If seven plus minor, if major. So it's not a major. It's just a minor. So Wayne Mackey goes to the sin bin for cross-checking. Cross-checking Wayne Mackey at 10.59 of the first period and the Minnesota power play goes back to work. Already successful in this game. 
So let's see if they can do it again. Wayne Mackey's in the box for two minutes for cross-checking Wayne Connolly. Here is the face-off. The face-off is won by Makita. Makita gives it to Jarrett. Jarrett, not intercepted. And there's no possibility to assist, so he just, Marat sends it down the ice. It goes to Dave Ballin. Dave Ballin is hit hard by Nestorenko. Nestorenko, but McMahon picks up the loose puck. He's already scored in this game. And there is, okay, in this case, force dump in if the defenseman is three. He's a four, so instead of the shot by Watoyowicz, he has to pass it by by the game rules. So he passes the puck and we have a line change. So the second unit comes on the ice. We ignore takeaways by Bobby Hall. And it, it's a shot from the blue line by McCord. Let's see if there's a rebound. There is a rebound. Majority allows a juicy rebound. In this case, home team gets the puck. So Boudreaux gets it. And he has a very good shot. And it is an easy save by DeJordi. Gives it up to Stapleton. Stapleton. And it's intercepted by McCord. McCord. And he's hit by Palat, who did that very often in his career. And Bobby Hall gets the pass. There's no time left. And the penalty is over this time. The Blackhawks do a successful penalty kill. So we look at the time. This is 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, and it's the first line is on the ice. I should have this memorized. Eight minutes means first line. It's hit by McCord instead of a good shot by Stapleton. Loose puck to Wayne Connolly. Wayne Connolly over the Blackhawk line. He passes it to McMahon. McMahon, and it's taken away by Pallad. What a good first period for Pierre Pallad. He has an assist and many takeaways. He's playing very well. And there's another line change as a second line comes on the ice. And it's a takeaway by Boudrias. Boudrias over the line. He passes it to Ted Taylor. Taylor takes a shot. And it's not blocked and it is saved by DeJordi. And he hangs on. No rebound that time. 540 left first period. 1-1 one, one tie. Here's the faceoff. Faceoff's won by Boudrias to Taylor. Taylor not taken away. Taylor shoots. And it's saved by DeJordi again. The ninth save, shot on goal of the period. And DeJordi hangs on. Only two shots for Chicago. One of them went in the net. Because it was Bobby Hall's slap shot. So you can't blame Maniego for that. Here's a face off. And it is won again by Boudrias. To Moose Vasco. Moose Vasco over to his line mate. Or his partner with Toyovich. With Toyovich, No penalty. And it's an, over to Goldsworthy. Goldsworthy, nice pass over to Taylor. Taylor takes the shot. And it's saved again by DeJordi. Getting lots of rubber on DeJordi so far here in the first period with the 10th shot of the period so far. Here's the face-off. Face-off is won again by Taylor. Taylor. And it's intercepted by Doug Jarrett. And we have a line change. The third line comes on the ice for both teams. No penalty. 34. Tom Reed with the pass. Pass over to... And it gets back to Reed. He makes another pass. Does not intercept. It goes back to Reed again. He makes another pass. He's not an offensive player, but he had three touches in that, in that scrum. But it's now intercepted by Bill Collins. Bill Collins over the Hawk line. He passes over to Masterton. Nice pass over to McMahon. He takes the shot. And another save by DeJordi. And he hangs on. 240 left in the first period. Face off. Face off. One again by Masterton. Over to Collins. And he's hit by Doug Moans. And there's a fight for the loose puck and Tom Reed gets it. And as a first line comes on for the last two minutes of the period. It's taken away by Bob McCord of the North Stars. It's taken away by Kenny Warham of the Hawks. And there's no takeaway that time. It goes to Makita. Makita takes the shot. It's blocked by McMahon. Loose puck. Home team gets it. Ray Cullen. And he's hit by Makita. But he gets up and he's... Gets the puck again. No penalty. He passes over to Wayne Conley. He gets a nice shot. 
and it's held by DeJordy for the faceoff. He's been pretty solid, except for that power play, the first power play goal by McMahon, but he's been very solid otherwise as he made his 11th save of the period. 40 seconds left in the first period. Here's the faceoff. The knockout, the high guy was Makita, so there's... Is there any replacement? Face-off four. So Warham goes in the circle. He only has a face-off four. And it's plus eight. So that means Warham, he's the lesser. He gets plus eight. So he gets the face-off. Gives it over to Makita. Makita avoids the check. Takes the shot. Nice shot. Rebound on, oh, Maniego. Made a great save there. And McMahon gets the loose puck. McMahon, he keeps it. He crosses the line. He sees a wide open, wide open McCord. McCord takes a shot from the line and it's blocked by Bobby Hall. And the loose puck's picked up by Connolly. Connolly. And that's the end of the first period. The score at the end of the first period. The Chicago Blackhawks won and the Minnesota North Stars won. In this first ever meeting between these two rivals, but they just don't know it yet. Let's see the first period summary. And see the shots on goal for the first period. Minnesota outshot the Blackhawks 12 to 3. Although the Hawks, anytime they had a, cho a chance, it was a quality chance. So I guess that most coaches would take three quality chances over 12 easy chances any day of the week. You can see the, the Pierre Palat. He had two takeaways, a hit, a block shot, and an assist. So he was the player of the first period for the Hawks. And McMahon, he played 13 minutes, 20 seconds of that first period. Had a goal on the power play. Two shots, a hit, and a block shot there. But he is minus one. He was on the ice for the Bobby Hall goal. So let's once again go to the first line. Here's the faceoff for the second period. Here at the Mets Center. Won by Cullen. Cullen. Sends it over to Connolly. Connolly voids the check. He passes over to McCord. McCord coughs up the puck. And it's taken by Bobby Hall. It would break away if it's five. But he's only a three. So he takes the pass. He's not hit by Cullen. He passes it over to his, his buddy Makita. Makita. He passes it back to Hall. It's not forced in. He's only a one. He has a prime time scoring chance here. He shoots. And it's saved by Maniego. And he hangs on. Doesn't even give up the rebound. And he holds it for the faceoff. Cesar Maniego makes this an excellent save off Bobby Hall. Anytime Bobby Hall, especially on a five quality shot, you make the save, you're, it's that spectacular. Here's the faceoff. It goes by Makita. Makita ends up with the loose puck. Makita passes over to his buddy Bobby Hall. But Bobby Hall, a, ra a very rare cough up. And if it was a five breakaway, but he's only a four. So Cullen gets the puck. And it's taken away by Kenny Warren, the underrated member of the line. And we have a line change at this point here at 18 minutes. And it's intercepted by Boudrias. Boudrias. Over the Hawk line. He sends it over to Goldsworthy. Goldsworthy. He avoids the check. He takes it himself and he tries passing again. He passes back to Boudrias. Boudrias takes the shot. And it's forced wide by Doug Jarrett. And Pitt Martin gets the pass. And his first season with the Hawks after being traded for Phil Esposito. A terrible trade for the Hawks. Not taken away by Watoyowicz. Goes over to Dennis Hall. Dennis Hall takes the shot. It's a good shot. And it's rebound. It goes back to Pitt Martin. He shoots on a prime shot. And it's not forced wide, but Maniego makes a sparkling save. Every save that he's made has been incredible so far for Cesar Maniego. Face off in the Minnesota zone. Here's the face off. It goes back. Pitt Martin wins it. It goes over to Dennis Hall. Dennis Hall. It's intercepted by Mudrias. It prevents a nice pass. And we force. And there's a line change at this point. Not taken away. 33. It's a pass by Murray Hall. Murray Hall over to McMahon. McMahon with the pass. Good puck control by the North Stars. But there's a bone crushing hit by Moans. And Collins gets it back, however. 
Collins not intercepted. And here's Masterton with a nice pass over to Collins. He takes the shot. And it is saved once again by DeJordy, who has been very, very good here tonight. 15 minutes less in the second period. 1-1 tie. Here's the face-off. And the tiebreaker goes to home. So Masterton wins the face-off. It goes over to McMahon. He makes a nice pass over to McMasterton. Masterton takes the shot, and it's a rebound. A rare rebound by DeJordy. But Turbench picks up the loose puck. Masterton goes for the for the dump-in, but he fails. Or Turbench, he passes it over to Goyer. Goyer, and it's a line change at this point. And it's not intercepted. It goes over to Makita. Makita takes the shot. And it's blocked by McMahon. Or the, it was a very good scoring chance. Here's Dave Ballin. Picks up the loose puck. He goes into the Hawk zone. He gets around Kenny Warham. And takes the shot. It's saved by DeJordy. But it's a huge rebound. And McMahon going for his second goal. He takes the shot. And it's wide. Well, it's not wide. It's on goal. But it's an easy save for DeJordy. And he gives it to his defenseman, Stapleton. Whitey Stapleton gives it up. And he does no, it doesn't get taken away. But he gives it over to Kenny Warm. He makes a nice pass over to Palat. Palat takes the shot. And it's an easy save for Maniego. Probably his easiest save of the night. The Hawks are having much more pressure here in the second period. But still, no goal scoring. Here's the face-off. It's won by Stapleton. Or to Stapleton. Stapleton with the pass. But he's hit by Ballin and gives up the puck. And he Ballin gets a shot. And saved by DeJordy once again. It's This is the pre-Tony Esposito era of the Hawks. They will certainly enjoy the 70s and the great Tony O. But right now he's on the roster of the Montreal Canadiens. So they're going to do everything they can to get him. They know how great he will be, but right now he's not on their roster. Here is the face-off over to Bobby Hall. Bobby Hall crosses the Minnesota line. He avoids the check, and he takes a nice shot. And it would have been a goal, but Connolly forces it wide. What a play by Wayne Con Connolly to prevent the eighth goal of the year for Bobby Hall. And the loose puck, Connolly does it all. He forces it wide and gets the loose puck. And there's a line change, a well-deserved rest for Wayne Connolly. Pitt Martin gets takes the puck away, and it's forced in by Moose Fasco. Moose Fasco, Watoyowicz gets the loose puck. No interception, sends it over to Goldsworthy, takes a shot. It's not wide, and it's saved by DeJordi and the faceoff. Boy, he's excellent at... Gobbling up that rebound and holding it for the face-off. He's taking no chances here in Minnesota tonight. 11 minutes, 20 seconds left in the second period. 1-1 one, one tie. Here's the face-off. It's won by Budrias over to Vasco. And it's taken away by Doug Jarrett. Doug Jarrett uh, prevented a very good scoring chance. But Watoyowicz takes it right back and prevents a great scoring chance of their own. And it's hit by Jill Marat. That's what he was good at. Bone crushing checks. And the loose puck, he gobbles it up himself. And that is another line change. Ten minutes left. We're halfway through this game. Intercepted, no. Here is Wayne Mackey with an excellent pass. It goes over to Doug Moans. Moans takes a quality shot. And it's saved by Maniego. And he hangs on. He took the advice of his goal opponent, DeJordi, and to hang on anything he can. Face off to the right of Maniego. Here's the face-off. Jerry Goyer passes it back to Tom Reed. Tom Reed gives it to Wayne Mackey. Wayne Mackey passes it to Goyer. Goyer. And he passes it. Good puck control for the Hawks. And it's taken away by Gogan. I spoke too soon. There's no penalty on the play. Gogan takes it over the blue line. He shoots. Nice shot and a good save by DeJordi. And it's... Let's see, it's a puck battle. Loose puck, home team gets it. So it's a rebound to Bill Collins. Takes the shot, but it's a 97. And it's easily saved, and he gives it to Goyer. Goyer 
over the into neutral territory. But it's intercepted by Bill Collins. Collins skates, skates over the line and they say, hey, it's time for a line change. So they change lines and the number one lines are on the ice. Here is Connolly sets up shop in the Hawk zone. He passes it over to McMahon. They really trust McMahon and he scored already tonight. McMahon takes the shot. And saved by DeJordi again. The 21st shot on goal. 20th save for DeJordi here tonight. Eight minutes left in the second period. Face off. One by Cullen. Over to McMahon. No penalty on the play. The puck goes to McCord. McCord passes over to McMahon. It's taken away by Palat. And there's no interception. So the Palat carries it. Into the North Star zone. He passes it to who? Makita. Makita. He's going to... He sees a streaking Warham. Warham. He gives it... And it's a high quality shot. He can't get any better than that. And he scores. Kenny Warham. Scores his third of the season. What a wonderful pass by Stan Makita. And the Blackhawks take the lead. Two to one. And the official scoring play... Kenny Warham, his third of the season from Stan Makita and Pat Stapleton at 13.36 of the second period. And the Hawks are going for their second win of the season in their eighth game. They want to turn this thing around. They're in last place in the Eastern Division. When many people think they have the best team on paper. Here's the face-off. Face-off's won by Makita. Who had that wonderful pass that we just saw. He passes again to Warham. Warham, he's going to pass it over to Stapleton. And there's a line change. So instead of Stapleton, it's Doug Jarrett with the puck. Jarrett, he makes the pass. Over to Dennis Hall. Dennis Hall takes a shot from outside. And it's not blocked. And it's a nice save. And it's a rebound. But Boudrias gets the loose puck. No penalty on the play. Goldsworthy crosses the hawk line. He wants the equalizer, but it's intercepted by Pitt Martin. And it's intercepted again by Boudrias. Still in the hawk zone, but it's a bone-crushing hit again by Nestorenko. But Goldsworthy gobbles up the loose puck, and there's a line change just when things were getting interesting. So the third line is on, and it's a forced dump in by Tom Reed. Who's going to get the loose puck? Masterton hustles in and gets the play. He's... Boy, you know, he played one season, but he had an excellent card here. It's just so sad. So sad that he won't play much longer. But he gets up the loose puck. And we won't think about that now. It's not intercepted by the Hawks. He passes over to McMahon. McMahon, he passes it. Who's he going to pass it to? To Murray Hall. Murray Hall, no penalty on the play. Is It's a two and the penalty is a three. So Murray Hall will pass it over back to McMahon. McMahon is not forced the dump is not forced in he gets to keep it but he gives up the puck and it would have been a breakaway if it's a two but Goyer's only a one so he it's no breakaway but the Hawks have possession now Wayne Mackey Wayne Mackey he passes it over to Doug Moans but he is forced off the puck by Pete Gogan and it's a loose puck and McMahon who's all over the ice we've said his name a thousand times here tonight Probably the best defenseman for the North Stars in their first season. He gets it. Now we have another line change for the first line for both teams. That's what we like to see. It's intercepted by Makita. Makita, no penalty. Minnesota was a very gentlemanly team as they haven't been called for any penalties yet. No penalty, so it goes over to Palat. Palat, over to Stapleton. Stapleton takes snow. He gives it up. He gives it up and there's no, boy, how many times have we missed the breakaway by one in this game? But Connolly has control. No penalty on the play. Over to McCord. McCord takes the shot. It's a great save by DeJordi. Rebound. It goes back to Connolly. 25. He takes the shot. And it's another save by DeJordi. His 22nd save of the game. One minute left in the second period. And he is a stone wall here tonight, Dennis DeJordi. As I said, it's not his fault that the Hawks so far are 1-5-1 and one on the season. Face-off in the Hawks zone to the left of DeJordi. Here's the face-off. It's won by Cullen. Cullen to McMahon. McMahon has the puck 
It's not intercepted. 28, it's a pass by Ballon. Ballon, not intercepted. Back to McMahon. McMahon, good puck control here in the last part. Last minute of the second period for the North Stars. Hoping to set something up. A nice pass by McMahon. Who's it to? It's to Cullen. It's a shot four. He takes the shot. Rebound. Rebound is gobbled up by Makita. Otherwise, he would have an excellent scoring possession. Pos or a uh, potential great scoring chance. Makita trying to rag the puck, and he does for the end of the second period. The only scoring play, Ma Kenny Warham is third from Makita and Stapleton at 13.36 of that second period. Here's the game statistics. Once again, Minnesota peppering the Jordy at 12 shots. Once again, Chicago had seven, but they were, once again, very high quality shots. And two of them have gotten by Cesar Maniego, and that's why they lead it by a score of two to one. We go to the third period. The all-important third period. Here's the, will the North Stars be able to get back square against their rivals? Here's the face-off. The face-off goes by Makita to Bobby Hall. Bobby Hall not forced in. He's going to get a nice shot. It's not blocked. 37 rebound. Everything that Bobby Hall shoots is tricky when it comes at you at 110 miles an hour. But it's saved by Maniego and he... And it's gobbled up by Cullen. Cullen does not have a takeaway. He gets around Stapleton. Stapleton, he comes in and takes a shot. It's a quality shot. It's a seven, but it's a rebound. Who will get the loose puck? It'll be Makita. Makita is so good at getting those loose pucks. And he has he goes down. He goes end to end. He takes a shot. And it is blocked by McMahon. What a great game for Mike McMahon here tonight. Saved a possible goal. And his Partner McCord gets the loose puck. McCord has possession in the Hawk zone. He passes it. But it's a loose puck it, as Palat hits McMahon. And the puck is loose and Whitey Stapleton gets the loose puck. And then now they're going to change lines. The Hawks are playing conservative, nursing a one-goal lead. But there's still so much time left. 18 minutes. Will it be premature? Pitt Pit Martin gives up the puck. No breakaway for Boudrias. Budrias over the hawk line. He's going to see a streaking Matojovic who gets the pass and shoots it. And it's saved by DeJordi again. The North Stars are getting frustrated by DeJordi here tonight. 25 saves for Dennis DeJordi. Face off in the hawk zone. Face-off is won by Pitt Martin over to Dennis Hall. Dennis Hall not taken away. 35, Pitt Martin setting up shop in the Minnesota zone, and it's not taken away. It's given away by Gilles Marat, who has absolutely zero offensive ability. No breakaway, fortunately, for the Hawks. Boudrias into the Chicago end, but it's taken away by Marat. He's a good defender, just nothing offensively. No penalty. Nestorenko gets the puck in the Minnesota zone. He takes a shot. It's a good shot. Saved by Maniego. And Moose Fasco gets the loose puck. And that's it for the second shift. We go to the third line. Third line, Mike McMahon, who's double shifting because they only have five defensemen on the roster here tonight for Minnesota. And he gets the pass. He passes it over to his partner, Gogan. Not intercepted. 17. Gogan passes it. Over to Masterton. Masterton. He makes another nice pass. But he passes to McMahon. McMahon shoots from outside. It's a nice shot. It's not blocked. It should have been a goal. But it's a great save by DeJordi. And Goyer gets a loose puck. No hit there. 27. Pass by Turbench. Turbench passes over to Mackey. Mackey gets a nice shot from the circles. And it's almost in, but a great save by Maniego. And Collins gets the loose puck. And it's hit by Mackey. And the puck is loose in the Minnesota zone, but Murray Hall gets the, gets the puck. And we change lines to go to the first line. And that's dangerous when Bobby Hall and Stan Makita are together. And so much of why, you notice here, Makita, he hasn't played in every game. So that's probably one reason why... They've struggled. He's missed three games so far. So uh, he's the heart and soul of this team. And he gets a hit on Cullen. Loose puck. Gobbled by Dave Ballon. 
Dave Ballin over to McCord. Takes a shot from the blue line. It's not blocked. And it's a rebound. And it's to McMahon. He gets a nice shot. And it's not blocked. And it's on goal. And DeJordy makes another save. 29 shots on goal for Minnesota in this game. You can't say they're not trying. They're giving it everything they've got. They want to give their home team, take away any allegiance there is in the crowd for the Hawks and say, hey, we are in the NHL now. We represent the state of Minnesota. Cheer for us. Give up the past. Here, the, the visitor is kicked out. So Makita is out and Warham is in. Another face-off. And once again, Warham gets the face-off. And he gives it over to Hull. Hull over the Minnesota line. Not taken away. He passes it to Palat, but he loses the puck and Ballin gets it. Ballin into Chicago territory. Over and McCord coughs up the puck. No breakaway, but Makita into Minnesota end. And McMahon forces it into the corner. There is a fight for the puck and McCord gets it. McCord passes it over to Ballin. Not taken away by Palat. Ballin over on the left side. He comes into the zone, takes a shot. And it's not blocked and it's saved once again for Ballin who's holding on. That's his modus operandi. The whole game is to hold on to everything, not allow any rebounds. 12-20 left in the third period. 2-1 Chicago. Face off. Here is the pass. Makita gets it back to Warham and they change lines once again. 12 minutes left. In the third period. Oh, Ted Taylor's no gentleman. There's a possible penalty here. And let's see if there is. That would be devastating for Minnesota. They can't afford to be in the penalty box and shorthanded. It is a penalty on Ted Taylor for hooking. The first penalty for Minnesota in the game. Ted Taylor for two minutes for hooking at 8-11 of the third period. And the... Hawks go on their first power play of the game. On the second power play unit, Hull, Martin, and Nestorenko. Defending Budrias and Goldsworthy. Here's the faceoff. Faceoff is won by Pitt Martin. Two, Hull. Hull. And he's, okay, so physical, low, no hit. It should have been a big hit by Goldsworthy. But physical play is low, so there's no hit. So as a result, Hall's going to get a good shot. But it's blocked by Goldsworthy. Instead of going for the hit, he went for the block. Loose puck to defensive center. There is no defensive center. So Pitt Martin has the puck. And we divide it once again. Normally this would be a penalty check. We know that Goldsworthy was not the cleanest player. If you watch the 1972 Summit Series, you know that for a fact. But because of the, they're already in the penalty box, you divide it by two, so there's no penalty check. However, Stapleton gives the puck away, and it could have been a breakaway, but Boudrios gets control. Let's see if he can rag the puck a little. Instead of forcing it in, he forces the icing. So waste some, some time there. But here comes Stapleton. He's mad that he coughed at the puck. He send, goes over the blue line and takes a shot from there. It's a nice shot and it's a rebound. Rebound goes over to Dennis Hall. Dennis Hall shoots it from the circles. And it is saved by Maniego and he holds on. 40 seconds left in the penalty to Taylor. Here's the faceoff. And it's won by Boudrias. Boudrias. And he's hit. He's hit by Marat. And loose puck Marat. And they go to the first power play unit with nothing left on the clock. So there's no takeaway. 37 is a pass by Jarrett and the penalty is over. 940 left. That's 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10. The third line is on the ice. So here is Doug Moans with the puck. He passes it over to Goyer. Any defender eight. There is no defender eight with a penalty, so they continue on. The referee puts the whistle in his pocket. Goyer passes it over to Mackey. No interception. Mackey passes it. No hit. Gives it over to Tom Reed. Tom Reed passes it. Good puck control for the Hawks, but it's forced off by Collins. And the loose puck's... Taken by Masterton, and we have a line change. The number one lines come on the ice. 
No interception. Here's Ballon. Ballon. He passes it. And it's forced in by Makita. There will be a battle. And Makita once again gets the loose puck. He has a nose for that puck. No interception. Into the sh North Minnesota line. Here's Makita, who's been all over the ice. What a force for the Hawks. Makita has. What a difference maker he is. He takes the shot. And it's saved by Maniego. Only the 16th shot of the game for the Blackhawks. We were playing a defensive game to perfection. 7.20 left in the third period. Here's the faceoff. It is won by Makita. Over to Hull. Hull, no interception. Gives it up to Matt Stapleton who coughs it up again. No breakaway for Ballon. The Hawks have been very fortunate on these giveaways. And there's no interception there. The puck goes to Wayne Connolly. Connolly, pass over to McMahon. There's no interception again. 37, it's a beautiful pass to McMahon. Who is it going to? Ray Collin takes the shot. And it's an easy save that time for DeJordi. And he hangs on, wasting time, getting his, letting his team get get uh, under control in, his own, in their own end, get, get their uh, thing together, slowing things down. Six minutes, 20 seconds left in the third period. He is my pick for first star, Dennis DeJordi, if it goes on like this. We knock out the visitor, that's Makita, that means Warham is, comes in. He's already won two face-offs today. And KO again, visitor. So Warham is out of the line, out of the circle, and, it, and that means Bobby Hall's got to take the draw, and he got no rating. So a definite advantage for Minnesota here in the Chicago zone. Boy, they really want to take out that. That visitor, finally. So it's plus four. It's not enough to get past Colin, who was a five. So Colin gets the face off. Back to Ballon. Ballon. And just when he's setting up, there's another line change. No interception. Here's Moose Fasco. He passes it over to Goldsworthy. It's not... Jarrett doesn't take the puck away. Goldsworthy. It's a nice pass. Who's a two? It's going to be to ooh, Andre Boudrias. 29 shoots. And it's not blocked, but it's another save by DeJordi. The 31st save of the day. And he hangs on again. 540 left, third period. Here's the faceoff. One by Boudrias. Over to Taylor. Taylor. And there is going to be a penalty check on Marat. And we'll see right now if there's a penalty. This would be a key play in this game. 27 plus opposition. Marat. He was kind of a troll, and he takes Goldsworthy with him into the penalty box. So a good play for Marat. Marat is off for roughing, and Goldsworthy is off for hooking. So Goldsworthy and Marat double minor, or uh, coincidental minors, at 1447. So that means Gold, Goldsworthy has to leave the ice. He's one of the better... Players, and we'll bring in uh, who instead? Also bring in number one, Connolly. And for defense, we will bring in Turbench. Here we go. 520 left. Third period, face off. It's won by Boudrias. Over to Connolly. Connolly has the puck, but it's forced off of him by Jarrett. Into the corner, picked up by Turbench. Turbench. No penalty. He crosses over the Minnesota line. He takes a nice shot, and it's held by Maniego for the save. Face off in the Minnesota zone. 120 left in the penalty. 440 left in the game. Face off. Of course, there's no overtime in 1967. Face off is won by Budrias to Moose Fasco. No penalty. 13. Here's a shot by Connolly. It's a nice shot. Shot number two, and it's a rebound. Rare rebound by DeJordi, but Pitt Martin, the centers for Chicago, have been excellent at getting those loose pucks. The third line has their final shift of the game. Nobody's on the ice that shouldn't be. Nope, that's good. Uh, four minutes left. There's a penalty check. Instead of a giveaway, we have a penalty check on Bill Collins. Let's see, 23, no penalty, but did take away a possible a possible breakaway there. So instead, we just have a face-off. Here's the face-off. 
And it's won by Masterton. Masterton has the puck. Masterton over the Chicago zone. He passes it over to Gogan, who takes a shot from the blue line. Not blocked. 66 easy save by DeJordi. 340 left. 20 seconds left in the penalties. Face off. It is won again by Masterton. Masterton has the puck in Chicago zone. He wants to get that equalizer. No hit there. 26. Gogan. Pass. And the penalties are over. So both teams are at full strength. And there's no line change. It's forced in by Goyer. Goyer, there's a puck battle. Masterton has it. Masterton, 28. He's going to take a long shot, hoping desperately that it goes in. It's pretty good roll, 32, but it's held by the brick wall, a.k.a. Dennis DeJordi with his 34th save of the game. Face off in the Chicago zone. It is one once again. What is the faceoff percentage? 54% for Minnesota, 46 for Chicago. Minnesota has done an excellent job in the faceoff circle. The puck goes to Murray Hall, looking for that elusive equalizer. Gives it over to Masterton, who has an excellent shot, but the roll was horrible. And it's an easy save for DeJordi. Gives it over to Reed. And the Number one lines are on, and we got to think about pulling the goalie. We can't pull the goalie. See, if I try to pull the goalie right now, it doesn't even give you the uh, option. So we can't pull the goalie yet. I think it's 140 left. We can pull the goalie. No interception. Bobby Hall has the puck. He takes a shot, and it's saved by Maniego. No time elapsed off the clock. No goaltender uh, pulling at this point. Face off. One by Colin. They have control. Let's see if we can pull the goalie now. No, I guess it's 120 is when we can pull the goalie. Maniego has to stay in. The puck goes. Not intercepted. It goes to Dave Ballin. He takes a shot from the circles. And it's another save by DeJordi. 140 still left in the third period. Face off. One by Cullen. And it's not intercepted by Hall. 29, but it's a given away. Horrible time. And it's a breakaway for Kenny Warham. Kenny Warham shoots and scores. It's not even an empty net goal. It's a horrible cough up by Wayne Connolly. And Kenny Warham gets his second of the game, this time on a breakaway assist by Pat Stapleton. And that's it. So... Wayne Connolly coughs up the puck. Whitey Stapleton gets it, sees a streaking Kenny Warham, feeds him with a perfect pass, and Kenny Warham goes in on Maniego, deeks him out of his shorts, puts it in the top corner, and that is all she wrote as the Blackhawks take the lead 3-1. to one. The Minnesota looks like they're going to lose their second game of the year, and there's 120 left. It doesn't really pay to pull the goalie at this point. So we will just keep on going. Face off. Face off is won by Makita. Makita. And see that would have been an empty net goal. If we didn't have the goalie in. Because it's a shot on goal. And Bobby Hall takes a shot. It's not blocked. 88. Saved by Maniego. Gives it up to McCord. Let's see if they can get a goal here. No because he's hit by Pierre Palat. Loose puck picked up by McMahon. McMahon. And he's hit by Stapleton. Boy, these Hawk defensemen are ferocious. Here's Palat. Palat over the line, but he is checked by McCord. There's no time left on the clock. Warham gets the loose puck. And that is it. All she wrote. Game over. The final score. The Chicago Blackhawks 3. And the Minnesota North Stars 1. First star of the game with 36 saves, Dennis DeJordi. First star, only allowed one goal, and that was at the 5-10 mark of the first period. He was lights out for the rest of the game. Second star, Kenny Warham, who has two goals in the third, one in the second, and one in the third. The winning goal, what ended up being the winning goal, and the, the icing on the cake with only a minute and 20 seconds left in the third period, and Pierre Pilat, who was all over the place here today. He had an assist, shot on goal. He did give the puck away, but he took the puck away three times, had three hits, one block shot, and a plus-minus of plus three. 
Excellent game for Pierre Palat here today. So there's your final. Chicago goes to a record of 2-5-1. Minnesota drops to 4-2-1 in the first matchup between these two rivals. And how much do I wish it was still this two-team rivals, that there still was the Minnesota North Stars. I've never gotten into the Minnesota Wild, but I love the North Stars. I love Gump Worsley. I loved J.P. Parise. He was with my two favorite teams. He was with the Minnesota North Stars, and he was with the New York Islanders. So he's And he's with Team Canada as well. So he is got three stars in my book. But he's only going to start to play later in this season. He's not on the roster yet. But regardless, the Chicago Blackhawks 3 and the Minnesota North Stars 1. I hope you enjoy today's Hockey Night in Canada presentation. We'll play that classic theme once again. I cannot get enough. If you're Canadian, you cannot get enough of this. You hear this song and your blood starts pumping. Your heart starts pumping. The blood starts flowing. We'll sign off now. This is King Iggy Boo signing off from Minnesota. Chicago 3, Minnesota 1. See you later. Bye, everybody.